Walton. I'm the 4-H Foundation agent in Baldwin County. I'm here today with my son Walton and we're wondering how many of you have ever made fried rice. Fried rice is actually something that's really delicious and easy to make at home. Walton makes it best in our house so he's going to help us today. First things first is you need your large saute pan and you need a tablespoon of oil. Next in after you put your tablespoon of oil in your pan then you're going to add your vegetables. So our vegetables that we like in our house are peas and carrots. That's pretty traditional for fried rice. You could use other things if you prefer. Uh, that's what we're using today. And the cool thing about that is, is you can use fresh, you can use frozen, or you can use canned, whatever you have or can find. So the, so the peas and carrots go in with the heated oil and they start cooking together. We want to get those vegetables soft and warm. Next ingredient is going to be eggs. For this recipe, it requires two eggs. We love cooking with eggs at our house. Uh, my oldest son, Harrison, was in the Chick Chain Project last year with his 4-H group, and now we have chickens, and these are some eggs from his chickens. So whether, we, whether you have eggs at home from your chickens or you buy them at the grocery store, eggs are a great source of protein with only about 70 calories a piece. When you go to crack an egg, you want to make sure you keep the shells out of it, right? So best way to do it is just take your egg, Hit it on your countertop, take your fingers, and pull the two sides of the eggs apart. We're going to crack two eggs, then we're going to scramble those eggs together. Walton's going to move the vegetables to one side of his pan, and we're going to pour in the scrambled eggs. Next up is our rice. One reason this is so convenient is you really have a lot of options for rice. If you have some leftover rice from the night before, that is perfect. Cold rice is best in fried rice, but you can also make it. You can make it on the stove, you can make instant rice. Uh, that's what we did today, we made instant rice in the microwave. We made it a little while ago and it's still in the microwave getting kind of cooled down. So I'm gonna grab that. We need two cups of rice for this recipe. So now our eggs are scrambled. He's mixed the vegetables together and I'm gonna add in our rice. He's gonna start incorporating all those ingredients and I'm gonna add our next one. So that is soy sauce. We like about three tablespoons of soy sauce in this recipe. You can really do it to your taste, but you're gonna start off with about two or three tablespoons. followed by a little salt and pepper. And finally, uh, we used to not put this in our fried rice, but I saw it in a recipe and it makes it oh so good. Your final kind of good ingredient for our fried rice recipe is a tablespoon of butter. All right, now it's ready. So we're gonna show you our finished product. It's just taken a couple minutes for Walton to incorporate all these ingredients together and now it's ready to enjoy. And we hope you guys have fun making fried rice as well. Let us know.